Podcast two, we have John Palmieri, Johnny the Barber. Some How say he can cut hair with his eyes closed. We'll see if that's true. It's gonna be a good test because I'm exhausted. <laughs> well, we, we got, got the, the beans flowing. So. We're feeling good. I gotta ask, you starting off, what do you got in the cup? Dark roast. Dark roast, simply black. Yeah. Black. Bold. We're rocking the americanos today. I had to have a little room for it's sugar. A good, and it's cream. a good switch up today. Yeah, mm-hmm. Starbucks. We're we're usually ripping Tim's, but. Today we're doing Starbucks. Johnny the B wanted some, so yeah. We had to Starbucks only. That's all he does. Yeah. Starbucks only. You know. But I will do Tim Hortons when it's rolled around. Yeah. Oh, but the gambling. season's over. The season, uh, it's coming to the end. I yeah. think you only need to get what? Some large. cups, limited supply only. You know? They're all in Canada. They're crazy. Yeah, they're all in Canada. They're always. Polish. I've won donuts and I've won lattes. Yeah, me too. And I don't, lattes. I don't really eat either, drink either. It's just yeah. Yeah. They gotta switch up their sweepstakes maybe. Yeah, and I don't think anybody's won the car. Or no. those money. To the Canadians. But, yeah, that's yeah. true. They leave it off with them? Yeah. We love Canada. You know what I mean? Don't get us wrong. We love them. We do. <laughs> so we're here at the downtown shop. Just opened up, what, a couple months ago? Um, well, we had a soft open in January, but the official open was like, I don't remember what we did, maybe February 1st, February, February 2nd, but we're still like in that opening phase. I mean, I don't even have like graphics on the door, hours, mm-hmm. a sign. Mm-hmm. Still yeah. working on the graphics packages. Yeah. 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 Still doing great though. <laughs> still doing great. That's yeah, what we're on. So we have another shop in Tonawanda. That's been how long that's been open for? Uh that's going on three years in June. Three so years. We'll, we'll call it two and a half right now. Okay. It's right. been phenomenal. That's the powerhouse. That's the that's the yeah. that is. And we're gonna get this one. Awesome. Yeah, my my grandpa's been going there for years. He's really? uh, got me into, you know, going to you and, and as well as Jordan, but he's really? been going for years. Yeah. Who's your grandpa? Uh, Larry Laduca. What's he look like? Just him with gray hair. No, the older guy. <laughs> he comes in hair. now. Yeah, well, not. I think the the Tonawanda shop. Yeah, who cut some? Jared. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Sweet Larry. He's uh, <laughs> he's uh, he's been talking about you for years. And oh, I was nice. just been like, yeah, yeah. And then Jordan's like, you know, I go to this guy, and I was like, I think I'm gonna try him. And then I haven't gone back ever since. Can't go back. That's how it works. It's That's just, how it works. That's, how it That's works. crazy, man. Yeah. So what got you into this? What got you cutting cutting hair? Oh man, I get that a lot. It's uh, I was 16 years old, and I was at my aunt's house, and I was with a friend of mine, and my aunt cut hair. She was a cosmetologist, and my buddy saw her setup and said, you know, can you cut my hair? I was like, of course I can cut your hair. <laughs> Never cut hair before in my life. He's like, have you done? I'm like. Buddy, sit down. Of course, I've done it. <laughs> so I like I did the haircut. I edged up his neckline, and I was like, "Wow, that looks really sharp." Mm-hmm. And it was like one line. The other line was off, but the one line that's just what just kept me in it. That's what got you in that. Those, yeah, those that, just lines. just a, a quick line. You know what I mean? And this could go either way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Lines can get people either going good or going bad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. But that's what got me into it, and from there on. I don't know, I started cutting buddies. I don't even know how it really took off from there. Oh, my aunt bought me clippers for Christmas. That's what it is. That's what it is. She bought me a clipper set for Christmas, a wall clipper set. Like I feel like everyone's in here started off with from like Target or Walmart. And then I started cutting buddies, I started charging them. Well, it was free cuts at first because it was rough. Mm -hmm. But then as I got better and better and better, five bucks a cut. Bumped that up to six bucks. <laughs> Went from six to eight, eight to ten. I actually don't have a price increase all the oh, way yeah. up, but yeah, we don't gotta get into that. Oh, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I have a question for you. Yeah. I've always had this question: Who's cutting your hair? Because like these people, they cut hair for a living. And yeah. I mean, is it other guys in the? In yeah, the shop? it's the OG. It's Dave. Dave. Yeah. Okay. The first one take on. Well, the first real one. The okay. first one that. He actually did well. And you trust him? You trust him? Oh, yeah. Well, sometimes there's some coaching that's got to happen. Yeah, it that's must be age. tough seeing like a, a barber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it, like having other guys. You know what, though? We, we like, you would think that, but we literally could give a crap. We like, hmm. we don't care who cut. I, it's, a, it's a blessing to just get a haircut because we never cut each other. Yeah. So I guess you can, like, in, in the future, if you ever don't want to go to Johnny's Barber, Go to the guy with bad hair. Means he's busy. You know what I mean? That's a good yes. Yeah, that's go to the guy with dreadlocks. Go to the guy with, 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 the, guy with, with, with the pony. <laughs> he's, he's never getting cut. He's got no time. Oh, wow. Man. There you go. That's a good lesson. 
That is tough. So, what are we what are we feeling about the competition? Like when you went into this, you know, there's so many hair salons, and some guys are still going to to women to get their haircut. What do you feel about that? I mean, um, that I mean, we've never worried about it. We know that the, what we know the product that we have is like, you know, one of a kind, and mm -hmm. you know, I mean, I feel like we offer the most premium product. So we've never had an issue with like competition. Um, I tell the boys, it's not to be like arrogant, but I always say like Nike doesn't worry about Reebok. It's like, yeah. you know, there's all these other barber shops and salons around, but in it, we feel like what we have to offer is, you know, the best. That's the best and, mentality to go through. Yeah, yeah. We, have, we have similar mindset on that where there's other people doing some similar work that we're doing, but, you know, like you said, yeah. we're not too worried on stuff because we do know that our, for the pricing as well as the service that you're going to get. It's and the experience, you, you, you feel with the, you know, the experience you oh, come yeah. here, you want... No doubt, that's, no that's doubt. And, and we're, I mean, we're the only people that are, the only people that I know that are doing continued education. We're going away for a week here, we're going away for a week there. We all travel as a group to different mm -hmm. cities to, you know, learn together and grow together. Cool. And a lot of people, you know, they, you get good and you start making money and they don't make time for getting better because they don't feel like they can. Right, yeah. Whereas, like, even me personally, like, I'm still behind the chair, I'm still taking classes, I'm still learning, I'm still reading, I'm still doing whatever I can to keep growing and learning because yep. I'm always a student. Mm -hmm. And true professionals and true, like, masters of their crafts are always students because if, when you stop learning is when you stop kind of growing. Yeah, that's a, that's a good, that's good, a good quote, point. man. What kind of, uh, after that. <laughs> what kind of, like, where are you going to, like, get these classes? What are they teaching? Um, we've done Toronto, we've done New York, uh, we've done Vegas. They're, um, I mean, the trade shows are fun and everything, but the classes there are what really, you know, that's what I tell the guys, you know, let, let's get a lot out of it. Mm -hmm. um, I guess the best class I took, I went to Vidal Sassoon in Toronto. I was there for a week. It was a five or six day class and it was all scissors. And like for a barber, like especially like a modern day barber, mm -hmm. like their crutch is clippers, 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 clippers. So it was like, I want to do the scissor course because I was, you know, I was very proficient with the clippers. Mm -hmm. But yeah. when I got to the scissors, I was like, well, I don't know if my hand should work that way. Yeah. Or like, you know what I mean? I, I didn't really know like the mechanics, even biomechanics. So I went to this class and wow, was it like a, a awakening? Like, wow, you don't know shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm sitting there, I'm like, wow, <laughs> I don't even know how to oil my shit. Oil them? Yeah. I was like, <laughs> <"Wait>, oil? <laughs> Oil shears? <laughs> I'm using my girl's olive oil. I'm like, I don't know. So I went to this crash course, and then ever since then, that's like what really like started my learning and like wanting to be better. Because then it like showed me like you know what you really don't know. There's so much to learn. Yeah, yeah you, you, you do don't. It. And like it, it is the more you learn, the more you know, the more you see like what you really don't know. So I guess that's what really sparked the uh, the education. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, you, like you said, a lot of people don't educate themselves once they feel like they've reached up. A point in their career. No doubt. And the hairstyles always change it too. Oh, I feel yeah. like the oh, fresh yeah. fade is in. Like right now it's in, I gotta say. I, everyone oh, I see around it's around, in. you know, just the area is just rocking up the fade. Yeah. And no. some are just terrible, let me tell you. It's like, whoa, you gotta get you gotta get back in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they put their head in a blender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just you not know? a good look. Yeah, the trends are always going up and down, in and out, but you know, clean never goes out of style. Yeah. The fades are always gonna be in, shortcuts are always gonna be in, but there are the trends where you know what? long hair i mean i feel like i think it was like maybe the 60s or 70s when long hair was huge mm -hmm. you know probably the 70s but long hair became super popular and you know people barbershops clothed it because they really didn't have the business but right. nowadays like barbers are so good yeah. and just at what they're them. doing that people are going to always get fades because it's like i mean what looks exactly. better than a fade you always notice it whenever i'm at like the grocery store someone has a fade it's like yeah, you know. Yeah. What about uh, beards? I mean, oh. you guys trimming out the beards too? The beards are hot right See, now. See, that's that's what I'm saying. That's a huge trend. Right? Oh yeah, oh guys yeah. Guys coming in with their their beards just. If you can grow off. facial hair, yeah, you're growing it. You know, <laughs> especially what they call if you get a tapered. You know, if yeah, you get a tapered looks great. You know what they call people without beards? Women. Yeah. 
<laughs> You're looking at one now. I agree. I, I go with a clean cut look. I can't do much. But I, I, got like I got scruffy. I got scruffy. Yeah, but I, I like to keep it clean and professional. Especially yeah. when it's, yeah. But I switch what? it up. Sometimes I'm rocking the neck beard too, but it gets a little too hairy for me. Gotta trim it up. We actually, we actually, my, my, uh, one of my new guys, Mookie, two weeks ago, he had a, a walk-in come in, and it was a, a lady, and she wanted a hot towel shave. And I no said, way. and he called me, and I was like, well, of course we do it. <laughs> I said, you kidding me? I said, that's a walk in the park. Yeah. Jeez. Jeez. Yeah. Hot towel shave. That's the first, that what, was the first. What do women, when they come in here, did she have short hair or like what was? No, they sh shaved her face. She had a straight razor shave. Whoa. Yeah. She just came in for that? See, so you, you take everyone. You we take, take everyone. everyone. Come in. Get your facial hair shaved. That's it. Everything. That's it. You always come out feeling like a new man, I'll tell you that. Or a woman. Or a woman. Or a woman. <laughs> or a woman. That, don't discriminate. That was like the first. I mean, <laughs> we, we cut girls all the time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Shorter styles, you know, texture styles. I mean, I always tell people we don't discriminate on sex, just hair length. Because, like, our specialty is, you know, shorter hair. Yeah. Like, and by shorter, I mean, we can do, like, hockey flow and stuff. But I'm saying, yeah. you know, I'm not going to be layering hair and... Throwing it up, you know what I mean? Exactly. Raise her name. That's tough. That's yeah, I'm rocking the mullet right now. I like it. It's uh, decent. Yeah, curly um, mullet. Yeah. Curly mullet. Yeah. Trying to bring it back, but... That should be a sleep. Might get trimmed up for the summer. Yeah. Who knows? I don't know if I can see you with a fade. Yeah, I, I... It's tough. My head's too, like, round. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know if that makes sense. I know sense what you're saying. It does make sense, but we specialize in head shape. Okay, well, I'm gonna, like, I might come in here for a fresh fade, you know, change up the look for the yeah. summer. You should, Jared, what should I do? I new summer, you. new you, you know? Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. Well, speaking of women, big marriage, congratulations yes, on thank that. You. Yes, thank awesome. you. Congrats. Yep. That, that is great. Um, That's awesome, man. <sighs> yeah, the wedding was great. Best day of my life thus far. I bet, dude. Wedding would be that's got to be a top new chat your life. You got the downtown office. You got I mean that's that's great. So congratulations. How long, you, how long have you known her? Um, maybe like five or six years. But I met her because of hair. No way. I'm here at barber shop. It was right next door to her restaurant. So every morning, well, I think I, I went in there to order a sandwich, and apparently she claimed me then. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't know this. And then she she would come in every day for candy because I kept the candy stocked. And then once I found out that she liked candy or would come in for That's it. That's why the bull's always out there. Dog. I knew it. The bull. <laughs> I was there right in every other day. I was like, got the anything, ball section anything, candy. Just anything. anything. Just. At that time it was anything. But now that I'm with her and we're married, she doesn't even like sweets. No, also it was just a. It doesn't even candy. like candy. So she came in. Solely for you. To see the kid. Now I know. <laughs> So now I know, I, you know, that's when I knew I had the upper hand. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. She's going to kill me when she sees this. But She's sorry. Like, really? But, no, yeah. It's, we were giving her a shout out, you know? Yeah, yeah shout out. Shout out, Tev. <laughs> so, yeah, she would come in every day, and then uh, we started going for coffee, actually right next door to Starbucks. Wow. We used to walk there every morning, and then when I opened up Tana Wanda, we weren't going to see each other anymore, because I was going to be working there, and she was going from her place. They opened up a new place downtown on Main mm -hmm. Street, so we kind of had to start hanging out. There it is. Just had to hang out and see if the connection was there. And it was. And it was. And it was. Wow. That's awesome. You can't fight it, you know. You can't fight the feeling. So now that I'm looking at your hair, it's looking a little bit mappy, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, you gotta put some conditioner in it. I mean I, I would not wash, wash it. it. Yeah, well wash today it. I uh I did the old rinse and run. Rinse. As they call it. You know why? Why? Because you guys are dedicating and you're here at seven AM. Exactly. Seven AM we're here. It's an early one, but we're gonna get some of this great stuff back there. I'm literally running out because this kid's coming in at 8 a.m. Well, here's my problem. My, my, my curls seem to be very heavy, if, if that makes any sense. So it comes down, and I, I sleep back, and then I find it myself looking in the mirror, and there's a curl hanging down. I'm like, you know you what? You want that? No, it's like, it's like bad hanging. Like, there's this one strap, and then it's yeah. just, they, they just, I need, both it, I need it back. I can gel it back, and the curls still show. What are you using it now? Man, I don't know. My mom got me this Paul Mitchell stuff, and it's just not. How do we, how does Jared not That's sell nice. you on way, right? Listen, hey, I'm going to, I'm going to, Defend him there. The first day I did use Jared, he sold me on it, and I've had it, and I'm running out and about to buy another one. Okay. So he did sell me there, but he, he didn't. Maybe he, he just. Sell I mean, he always says my hair, my hair is very thick, so he just said maybe he didn't like think it was a big concern. But still, the curls hang down. I need something that I need something that I know is going to be. You need something new. Every day. I, can't, I can't be going from these different jobs. I can't hear it anymore. 
I'm, I'm or in the car. This kid's wearing it curls, and it's just, it's just, it's Stop. delaying my process of. Do you blow dry? Happy. I don't blow dry. Do you blow dry every day? Really? You blow dry every day? Yeah. Wow. You gotta blow dry. I don't even comb. The blow dryer sets the hair for the day. Okay. And then the product holds what you already set with the blow dryer. Think about this. Makes sense. If you get out of the shower and you put a baseball cap on, right, towel dry and you put a baseball cap on and you go about your day, when you come home and take your baseball cap off at the end of the day, what's your hair like? It's flat. Flat, matted. Oh, that's, it that's, like, that's me. It, half like, my life. it like hurts. It hurts. Because it's so down It hurts to look at, too. That's okay, <laughs> exactly. Yes, it does. But it's like that because it dried like that. So when you take a blow dryer and you force your hair to dry up and back, that's how it, that's how it dried. That's how it's going to stay all day. Oh so then God. when you put the product in, you're just holding the shape you created with your blow dryer. It's like, Man. it's a no-brainer. So fine. I force my hair to dry back, and then I just put product in just to hold it. My hair, you can flatten it, I can put a hat on it, it'll always bounce back to the shape because it dried like this. Just like with a baseball cap, once your hair is down, it's pretty damn hard to get it back up. Oh yeah, that makes so much sense. There's your free tip of the day. Anything else, I charge extra. This guy's got jokes. Anyone yeah. else got jokes? Yeah. <laughs> right, that's, that's a good that's a good tip though because I don't use a blow dryer. I get out of the shower half the day and I put a hat on. Yeah. And okay. it's just and then I'm to the point where halfway through the day I'm like I don't want to wear this thing anymore. Yeah. It's more ball cap season. I think ball cap season's over, man. No way. You want, it's I mean, never over. You know what though? If it's not over, China the Barber is teaming up with New Era Buffalo and we're going to be dropping baseball caps. Get your oh legs. yeah, you heard plug it here on first. Plug. Have to, have to always plug your stuff. We're yeah. plugging the hoodies. We're yeah. selling hoodies. Yeah, you got a hoodie, hoodie, didn't you get a hoodie? We got like four. Yeah, yeah. we had a, it's we had a hook up the Tiff wears them all the time. No way. Yeah, now I'll be able to be like, Tiff, these are the guys who had hoodies. Yeah, so I was like, yeah, they, they, they took photos for it. She's like, I don't know. <laughs> no, actually, not many people know what what the name is yet because we're still growing. Still building the brand. 360 views, what is it? Are you guys, they don't even know what we're doing. We could be doing hair for all that. You know what would have been legit? We're talking just like this. Drone. Right in the back <laughs> window, point at us. And we just look. And we, oh, look yeah. we all smile, and then we just right up and okay. We you can do that. I'm talking, about, I'm talking like personal drones in the future. Like, we all have like personal drones. Like little fairies that are following us. Like, three chairs are like little. And they're like our aides. Like, you talk to it like it's a person, and it's like your assistant. Like, you're like. What would you tell? How would it open the door? Or no well, more? Well, it wouldn't open the door. It would just be like. It be like you're, you're behind you, but right? you could be like set my point, set a, you know, book me for lunch at twelve with whoever, and then it just sets in your calendar. And then when you look at your phone next time, it's already locked in there. Or hey, what's the score of this game? And it, it kind of tells you. There's like some notification on your watch, and it like tells it. you that answer. I like oh, it. No. That's, that's some good. Elon Musk shit. Yeah, that's crazy stuff. Did you see? Did you see that thing that's orbiting the Earth right now? Elon Musk. He put a car. Up. That's crazy. He put a Tesla. Up. Did he? <laughs> Dude, you see what he's doing now too with SpaceX in California? I just found out that they're What's he at they're now? doing this. I think it's called a Hyperloop, where oh yeah, where the vacuum could, thing. Yeah, it, you, it's like a huge tube, and you could uh, transport from like LA to like San Francisco in like an hour. Is he actually serious about that? No, like, no, it's faster. Yeah, it, faster. it's a vacuum. It literally just like it no, sucks. It's, yeah, it's right, crazy. and it just like throws. But you gotta think about it. Like, how can you get passengers in there? Like. What passenger can go from zero miles per hour to six hundred in a second? So you're like, are you like, you're like, in, you like strapped in? It's like, like the what's bag? it in um um out in France, the underwater. Oh, thing. uh, what's that word? I used to take French. Le vase. No, that's the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, something three letters. V L C or something. BLC. Yeah, but it's underwater. Not yeah, yeah. But this is gonna be like triple Did you that. Take speed. French? Hell no. What'd you take? I can't stand. Foreign language? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, you know, I don't want to offend anyone, but the French are some brutal people who don't speak French. Yeah. And they know they are. Yeah. Well, I went to Montreal for my bachelor party, and these French people, whoo! They're tough? They well, they are tough. They are tough. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Experience. I've only Apparently, if you don't say bonjour with, like, a French accent, you're just an ass. Wow. Jeez, yeah. they're harsh on them. Yeah. Tough crowd, man. But anyway, back to the SpaceX thing. They're, they're, they built a model of it, of what, how long it's going to be and what it's going to look like, just not as big. And it's in California right now. Like They're putting it up on highways, and they're doing it as a test just to see how they're going to deal with all the traffic once they really build it. So they're putting in a fake, they have a fake one in right now, taking up a couple lanes on the highways in LA, going all the way to San Fran. 
What is it? The the, the hyperloop. Hyper yeah, they have like a, a model. So it's not gonna be underground. No, it's gonna be right next to the hyperloop. They, they're just doing dummies right now. They're so doing it. It's just a dummy. It's not as big as it's really gonna be, but they're just doing it just to test traffic and they, make a plan on. They need to have one. They should have one that connects Buffalo to Toronto. That mm -hmm. should be like a no brainer. That should be a no brainer. Yeah. Oh. Because dude, if you get to Toronto in 15, 20 minutes, I'd be up there. I, I would go to Toronto for coffee in the morning and then hyperloop <laughs> back. To yeah, work. That'd be Literally. Amazing. If they had one that went Buffalo to Toronto and then maybe Buffalo to like Philadelphia and New York City mm -hmm. and then like just started like hitting like all These, the cities. Yeah. Man. No brainer. That'd be great. It would it would increase interstate business. It would increase it would increase that'd everything. That'd be awesome. That'd be that'd be help our economy grow. Straight up. Just oh, flying yeah. is a pain. We yeah. go to we go to different cities every weekend to spend money. Dude, we no doubt. No doubt. People would probably people would you could live in New York City and work here, or live oh, in yeah. Philadelphia and work here. If you get there in 45 minutes, an hour, oh, people drive from Rochester to Buffalo all the time to work. Yeah. People are commuting all the time. Oh, yeah. Long distance relationships, that would help that. Oh, uh, whatever. Just go over there in 15 Ooh. minutes. Ooh. You can do anything. You thought FaceTime help. <laughs> yeah, right? Jeez. Jeez. This is revolution. Hyper, what is it called? Hyperloop? Hyperloop. Yeah. Luge. Look it up. Get, it's I'm, I'm going to look it up. I'm, I think I'm going to look it up. Watch all too much Olympics. I didn't watch any Olympics. I did not watch yeah, one same. single. Yeah, I didn't. Man. Not really Olympics guy. No, I'm not either. I'm just not. You know, the hockey wasn't interesting for me this year because it wasn't any NHL players, yeah. and it just was. It just wasn't good for me. Buffalo <sighs> hockey. I love Buffalo. I did. That's that's a, that's a joke. But you do. You are cutting Sabres, Bills, right? Yeah. You're cutting everyone. Yeah. Everything, man. Yeah, we're cutting anyone that wants to get cut. Love it. You see, there's like opening more shops once this. Once this oh time. yeah. Oh no doubt. We we want. Uh, there's gonna be a big future. So you know anyone that follows us now, and, you know, is gonna continue to follow us. We have big big plans. Get yeah, on the JTB train exciting. now. Seriously. Yeah. We got Williamsville. Awesome. No doubt. Back to the Will Hill. Oh Will Yeah, that's nice. That's Guess what? That's by us. LeBron's going back. <laughs> LeBron's going back to to Cleveland. Oh jeez. Yeah. Are you from Williamsville? Is that where you're no, from? No, no. Ken more time on that. Oh really? So like I joked around, I said, LeBron's coming back when Tom Wanda yeah. opened. But LeBron's coming back. Yeah. Okay. Williamsville is, is, is where the kids started. That's huge. That's where my heart is. It's where I met my wife. That's where That's awesome. That's you know, the shop cool. opened, that's where everything happened. So back to Williamsville and then uh you know, we got some we'll go plans after that. I'm plans. not I don't wanna Yeah. Yeah, don't, don't, you don't want too much out there. Just but keep following, you'll, you'll just, see it. Yeah, just know Stay that tuned. There's, there's, Stay tuned. there's a lot coming. There's a lot in the right. pipeline. Yeah. A lot in the Hyperloop. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, shops opening. Congrats to everyone, but... That's great, man. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, we're trying to grow, too. I mean, we, uh, we're we just getting started. We're a little over a year. A year young. A year and young. And we're, right. uh, we're just, you know, this summer's going to be huge. Spring market for real estate. Awesome. And, and the summer season is upon us. And, and what a time for you guys, like... Could real estate be any hotter than it is in like the last year? Right now it is crazy, man. <laughs> but with with that, I'm sure you guys are already seeing companies popping up everywhere. Yep. Everyone doing it. I mean, mm -hmm. that's how it was with barbering. Like we, I always like tell people like, I don't know. We were cutting hair like when it wasn't cool to cut hair. I was cutting hair when people were like, "So you're still in college?" And it's like, yeah. "No, like <laughs> I'm a barber. It's just like what I do." And they're like, "Oh." Yeah, you sure? Like you don't want like a degree? Everyone was like, <laughs> they're like, <laughs> I was like, no, like this is like I I'm a barber. This right. is like what I'm doing. <laughs> so it went from that to being like, oh, you're a barber? Wow, that's great. I hear it's a great job. And it's like, like yeah, just then you're just like, just, just, save it, just you know, it, yeah, save Let me it. have this one. Save it. It's just funny, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, just like I'm sure, like, yeah, you know, you bought a drone. People are like, oh, yeah. a drone. So what are you doing after school? We're like, no, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna yeah. find a way to build something. So it's like the video game. It's like, no, it's like. You know, I could make money doing this. Yeah, yeah, we see it all the time. Like, oh, you guys are like, you guys are like the photo guys. Yeah. You taking photo? Yeah, we take photos. But so, what's your plan? Like, you know, like you said, like after, and we're like, this. Like, like yeah. it's a cute small Just business. Yeah, I'm like, you said cute. <laughs> yeah. Really? This I'm is like, it. come on. We, we want to build this to be a huge name. You know, it's not cute when they get the bill. Yeah. For yeah. the drum. <laughs> yeah. And then they say, <clears throat> you don't just start something. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I know. You just start something, something and not, you know, you go 120 percent. So that's right. Exactly. Yeah. We uh, we we took the drone up at the Tanawana office of, of a couple months ago. Weren't you there? Oh yeah. yeah. Was. Was. Where's the footage? Oh yeah. Dude, we I don't know. We'll, do we'll do it. We'll do it again. Footage, you were out there like a little kid looking up at this. Oh, it was great. I just came to come. Bro, just, 
You're telling me to fly to your house. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I wanted to literally just drop it into my parents' window and just look at them and say, Dad, stop picking your nose. That's Dad, funny. relax. We're coming. <laughs> just, just be careful. Seriously, <laughs> that's phenomenal. I didn't know the, the capabilities of a drone. I mean, oh, that's, that's insane. awesome. It went, I feel like there was like no drones. The, the, I feel like it went from like those little helicopters that you could yeah. fly around. The RC crash from, like, yeah, the RC from like the middle of the mall. Yeah. And then it went from that to like giant drones that can like bomb Pakistan. It's yeah, like, it's insane. It's insane. what? It's crazy. I mean, there's so many laws too about them now. Yeah, I know. We had to take courses where, you know, to get certified. I have to do continuing ad every two years. To yeah. get a license. That's good. I got a license. I'm a pilot. That's good. He's a pilot. He took a 65 hour course. I had to go to Dunkirk, Fredonia, pass a test, get his results. It's like, it's harder yeah, than close. getting a permit. I'd love to fly a plane. Yeah, wouldn't that be awesome? As That's a hobby? insane. Yeah. I had so a little. You should, goal, should put that down. I, a hobby. I said that to Tim, and she said, nah, you're not. So I was like, you know, because I, I, I'm not the, the biggest flyer. I don't love it. Mm -hmm. yeah, I know I'm it's good. like, you know, it's, you got to do it. I'm not going to I'm not gonna drive to L.A. No, you just don't. Okay? No. I'll take a plane. Yeah. But yeah. I just told her, I said, maybe if I fly, I'd love it more. Because I understand how planes fly. Yeah. Anyone that has a little flying phobia, what do you do? You research it because knowledge is power. Yeah, that's a, that's a good. You know what I mean? Now you, you address the situation and handle it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I learned how planes fly. Yeah, look at this kid's it. watch. It looks like he's about to... Yeah, I know. Uh, flavor Flav. Yeah. <laughs> you can take the one off the wall if you want. It's got a radar. <laughs> it's got a radar. It's a really? test people. Yeah. Is it for flying? Yeah. Where's the radar? See the, see the spinning thing? What the hell is that? I'll right? put a link in the bio. <laughs> Where's it for? No, it's just for fun. Oh, okay. It was an impulse buy a couple years ago. What, is it real radar? No. Okay. Big impulse yeah. Big impulse buy. Yeah, nice. It was back in, yeah, like my freshman year of school. I was like, you know what? This is the sickest thing. It's huge. Yeah, I didn't know Diesel made them that big. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're huge. <laughs> so, we're good. Speaking of style, if this is style, what do we feel for a spring style? For hair or for, for clothing? For both. For all. For Just all. Like men's for all. We need, yeah. We need some tips, man. I, I, I've been dry, I feel like I've been dressing the same in the winter yeah. for like, I just put on this big parka. I'm outside like a little Eskimo. Yeah. And we're I, I mean, I need to hoodies all winter. We got to switch it up for this. Bro, I don't even know what it is for spring because it's. Dude, men's fashion nowadays, if you wear like a duster and like, it, men are dressed in like, like women, if you yeah. wear like a long cloak with like <laughs> jeans with a drop crotch to your knees, you're cool, apparently. Yeah. Like Game of Thrones style? Yeah. Like fur, just all fur. Yeah, it, it's, it's a lot of weird stuff it's going tough. on. So I'm going to stick with the classics. Maybe you're a, a classic of, man. Maybe a pair of dark jeans on a Saturday. Well, probably black jeans on a Saturday. Dark I gotta get into jeans, jeans. on Sunday. Some blue jeans, or you go dark? I I have I actually just bought some white blue jeans. I just don't know. I don't know when. <laughs> I don't know when to wear them. Just do some, some uh, fresh denim. Yeah. Yeah. You know, some fresh denim. Drill up some dogs in the backyard. Seriously, I, I I just don't know when to wear things. So like maybe I'll just choose not to wear, it, but I have them. Okay. Well, you got a wife now to help you with that type of stuff. Yeah, no, she's good with that. But like, I don't know. Sometimes she just shows she, she wants me to wear things. You just don't want to. I'm not in my element. Yeah. I'm not in my element. You can't force it. You can't yeah. force it. You know? Once I widen the shoulders out a little bit more, maybe oh, then yeah. I could rock some tighter jeans. You working out? You started working out? Not yet, but, okay. but I'm going to, and that's the start. You know what okay. I mean? I'm taking protein shakes. There it is. <laughs> okay? That's Ripping the start. Protein. I just okay. bought some 25-pound dumbbells okay. yesterday. You have those. I have those. Those okay. are great. That's those a great, great way to start out. Yeah. I'm so. doing curls. I'm doing overhead presses. Oh, the whole night. The whole night. Oh. No, I don't want to do much. No. You know Push-ups. I don't want to get too big. Because every time I start working out, I'm like, oh, you're working out. Yeah, I'm working out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Protein shakes. Like, what you get? Stop working out. I'm like, no, I'm just Tony. Yeah. I'm strictly Tony. Because you know what? No one likes a big barber. And like, yeah. <laughs> you can't trust him. It's yeah. just like it's just the, the really jack guy working at Verizon. It's like <laughs> he's got the he's got the polo that you can see the guns coming. Yeah, through. It's, it's like, like it's super tight. Something's on not right about him. You know? Yeah, you go to the next salesman. Yeah, why are you so Seems big? Like he won't be there for longer than like a couple years. Of place, yeah, maybe a couple yeah. months. Yeah, that's like that's he's not a long term employee. You and then there's you know you really jack guy working at the gym. Go figure. I wouldn't have guessed that. Yeah. You always find those guys, you know. But that's good. You start to work out. Yeah, I'm on a big health cleanse too. I started. Yeah, I switched over to black coffee. No cream. I mean, I used to have just one little cream. I'm like, you know what? That's what I'm doing. I'm right? going all black. I'm, I'm going, going cream. Green tea some days. I'm going just healthy. Yeah, green tea. Green oils. Amino acids. Yeah, yeah. We stress those. Me and Tiff cut out dairy. That's tough. Oh yeah. Yeah, dairy's tough, especially for Italians.
All right, so we got the we got the hair gel purchased. Jordan made a big purchase. Johnny is ready for the cuts, and uh, we just want to leave you on the last closing statement. Any last Johnny. thoughts for you? Uh, my last thoughts, um, because like you know, being in the shop and you know, touching back on what we said earlier about you know, people are asking me, you know, are you in school? Are you in school? Are you in school? I don't want. I'm not against school. Yeah. But I'm for people following their dreams. Okay. and actually like doing what they want to do so i guess what i want to leave everyone with is follow your dreams if you want to do something just do it who cares what anyone has to say and you know i guess be great be great what else can we be be great be great thanks for thanks for coming right. on thank, thank you very much beans and eats podcast thank you johnny the barber <laughs>